Teacher Novi is back for another video. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe and mag-click ng notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago kong videos. Bago ka magpatuloy sa panunood ng video na ito, siguraduhin mo munang na panood mo na yung mga nauna nating videos regarding quadrilateral and parallelogram. Yung link ilalagay ko sa description. Kasi kapag hindi mo pa yun na panood, hindi ka makaka-relate sa lesson natin ngayon. Kailangang malaman mo muna yung mga properties ng parallelogram and quadrilaterals. Okay? Nasa week 2, quarter 3 na tayo ng lesson natin. So, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa special parallelograms. Anong-ano nga ba yung mga special parallelograms natin? Ito yung square, rectangle, and rhombus. Uh, uunahin muna natin yung properties of rectangles natin before yung square and rhombus. So, let's define a rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. As you can see in this figure. So, kapag may nakikita kayo yung ganitong symbol, ibig sabihin isa siyang uh, right angle or meron siyang measure na 90 degrees. Okay? Ano-ano nga ba yung mga properties niya? Ito. It includes the parallelogram properties which are opposite sides are parallel. So, ibig sabihin, side AB ay parallel kay side BC. Side AD ay parallel kay side BC. Next, opposite sides are congruent. Meaning, side AB is congruent to side BC or they have the same measurement. Same true with side AD and side BC. Next, opposite angles are congruent. So, angle A is congruent to angle C. Angle B is also congruent to angle D. Then, we have consecutive angles are supplementary. So, angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Angle B and angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And then, same kay angle C and angle D. And angle D to angle A. Then, we have diagonals bisect each other. So, diagonal AC bisects diagonal BD. And vice versa, diagonal BD also bisects diagonal AC. So, if they bisect each other, ibig sabihin, this line is congruent to this line. And side or line AE is also congruent to line EC because the diagonal bisector divide the other diagonal into two equal parts. Okay? Plus, this is the additional property in rectangle. All angles are right angles, as we can see here. And then, diagonals are congruent. So, diagonal AC and diagonal BD is equal. Next example. So, question number one or problem number one. If AC is equal to 2x plus 15 and BD is equal to 5x minus 12, what is the length of the diagonal? We all know that diago the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Since diagonal AC is congruent to diagonal BD. Therefore, AC is equal to BD. Let's just substitute the given values of AC and BD. So, 2x plus 15 equals to 5x minus 12. Then, combine like terms. 2x minus 5x is equal to negative 12 minus 15. Simplify. So, 2x minus 5x is equal to negative 3x. Negative 12 minus 15 is equal to negative 27. Para makuha natin yung value ng x, kailangan nating i-divide yung both side ng equation sa negative 3 para makancel si negative 3 dito. So, x now is equal to... 9. Okay? Pero hindi tayo dito mag stop kasi nga length ng diagonal ang hinahanap natin. Inuna lang natin hinanap si x para masubstitutan natin either sa uh, dalawang ito. So, saan ba ang gagamitin natin ngayon? Pwedeng ito, pwedeng ito. So, substitute natin yung nakuha nating value ni x. 
Dito gagamitin natin yung 2x plus 15. Ayan. Substitute natin si x. So, 2 times 9 plus 15. Simplify. 2 times 9 is 18. Then, carryin lang natin si 15. So, 18 plus 15 is equal to 33. Ang measure na ngayon ni diagonal AC ay 33. Same sila ni BD kasi nga they are congruent. Nakuha? Number 2. If the measure of angle 2 is 40 degrees, find the measure of angle 1. So, we all know that all the uh, angles in a rectangle are 90 degrees. Therefore, if we are going to add angle 1 and angle 2, ayan, if we are going to add angle 1 and angle 2, it is equal to 90 degrees. So, angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 90. Then, substitute natin yung given values ni angle 2, which is 40. So, angle 1 plus 40 is equal to 90. Then, transpose mo si 40 sa kabilang uh, side ng equation. Angle 1 is equal to 90 minus 40. And then, 90 minus 40 is equal to 50 degrees. Therefore, si angle 1 ay 50. Now, let's proceed to rhombus and square. Rhombus. Definition, a rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Ibig sabihin, itong apat na side na to ni rhombus ay equal lahat. So, itong symbol naman na to, ibig sabihin, pare-pareha sila ng measurement. Okay? Properties of a rhombus. Again, it includes the parallelogram properties, which are opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Diagonals bisect each other. Plus, all four sides are congruent. Yung sinabi ko kanina. Then, diagonals are perpendicular. Pag sinabi nating perpendicular class, yung intersection ng dia dalawang diagonals natin, it will form a 90 degree angle. So, in here, Eto, ayan, sa gitna, yung intersection ng dalawang diagonal, meron tayong 90 degrees dito, 90 degrees din dito, same here, and also here. Next, diagonals bisect opposite angles. So, itong diagonal natin, binabisect niya yung opposite angles na ito. Or, it will divide the opposite angles into two equal parts. And also, remember, the small triangles are right and congruent. So, itong apat na triangle dito sa loob ni rhombus are right angles and also congruent. Ibig sabihin, pare-parehas lahat ang measure nila. Next, example na tayo. So, given ABCD is a rhombus, complete the following. So, we have here the rhombus. So, if AB is 9... Then, AD is blank. So, if AB is 9, ako, nauna na siya. O, oh, di bali na. Oh, if AB is 9, AD is blank. So, we all know that a rhombus has 4 equal sides. So, AB is congruent to AD and congruent to DC and also congruent to BC or CD. Therefore, if AB is 9, then all the other 3 sides is also equal to 9. Number 2, still given yung ABCD is a rhombus, complete the following. If the measure of angle 1 is 65, then the measure of angle 2 is blank. Okay? So, given uh, or using the properties of a rhombus, diagonals bisect opposite angles. So, ibig sabihin, angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. So, if angle 1 is equal to 65 degrees, then automatic angle 2 is also equal to 65 degrees. Nakuha? Okay, let's proceed to the next. Number 3. 
e of the measure of angle 1 is 3x minus 7 and the measure of angle 2 is 2x plus 3, then x is equal to the length. So we all know again that the measure of angle 1 is congruent to the measure of angle 2. So meaning they are equal. Substitute lang natin yung given values ni angle 1 and angle 2. So angle 1, 3x minus 7, angle 2, 2x plus 3. Equate natin sila. Then, 3x minus 2x is equal to 3 plus 7. So, 3x minus 2x is equal to x. And then, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Therefore, ang um, value ni x ay 10. Ayan. Let's proceed to the properties of square. So, definition a square is a parallelogram with four congruent angles and four congruent sides. So, ibig sabihin, pare-parehas yung measure ng angles nila and then pare-parehas din yung measure ng apat na sides. So, again, it consists of the uh, properties of parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Diagonals bisect each other. Plus, ito yung karagdagan. Four, uh, four right angles. Four congruent sides. Diagonals are congruent, just like in the rectangle. Diagonals are perpendicular all, also. Ayan. Then, diagonals opos bisect opposite angle. Example. Given A, B, C, D is a square, complete the following. Number 1. If A, B is 10, then A, D is blank and B, C is blank. Ilagay natin. So, kung ito daw ay 10, ano yung measure ni A, D and D, C? According to the property, the four sides are congruent in a square. So, if AB is 10, then automatically AD is also 10 and DC is equal to 10. Number 2, if CE is 5, then DE is equal to blank. Ayan. Uh, tandaan natin yung property again ng diagonal, wherein the diagonals of a square are congruent. So, if the diagonals bisect each other, ibig sabihin, this line is congruent to this line, and also this line is congruent to this line. So, uh, these four lines are all congruent. So, if CE is 5, then DE is also equal to 5. Then, number 3, give the measure of angle A, B, C. Ito, ano daw yung measure ng angle na to? Again, balik tayo sa property ng square. Four right, there are four right angles in a square. So, ibig sabihin, si angle B or angle ABC ay equal to 90 degrees. So, makikita nyo tong symbol na to again. Sabi ko nga, ito yung symbol ng 90 degree angle. Okay? Then, number four, give the measure of uh, angle ACD. Ito. A, C, D. Ayan. Diagonal property nga apply natin dito. We're in the diagonals bisect opposite angles. So, it will divide the angles into two equal parts. So, kung ito ay 90 degrees, kasi nga 90 degrees lahat ng angles sa square, di ba? So, kung 90 degrees ito, i-divide mo lang siya sa 2. So, answer is 45 degrees. Then, last, give the measure of angle A, E, D. Okay? Ayan, nandiyan na naman si symbol na yan. So, ibig sabihin, dito na i-apply natin yung diagonal property of a square wherein the diagonals are perpendicular. So, they, they are going to form a 90 degree angle. So, the measure of angle AED here is equal to 90 degrees. The summary, 
properties of rectangle. It includes the parallelogram properties plus all angles are right angles and diagonals are congruent. Next, the properties of a square. It includes the parallelogram properties plus all four sides are congruent, diagonals are perpendicular, and the diagonals bisect each opposite angles. And lastly, the properties of rhombus. It also includes the parallelogram properties plus four right angles, four congruent sides, diagonals are congruent, diagonals are perpendicular, and diagonals bisect opposite angles. So, ayun po ang lesson natin ngayon. All about the properties of rectangles, rhombus, and square. I hope meron kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. Sa susunod na video, i-discuss ko naman ang properties of trapezoids and kites. So, thank you and God bless everyone. Keep safe!